my man Xbox where I'm using some trash that I'm gonna show you that in a few years. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Sketch. Today, and only today, we are here with some light-hearted joy today. Today, I want to put some respect on the GOAT, Yuji Yukawa, aka the GOAT Sonic artist that has provided us with many crazy Sonic art pieces over the years. And the reason I want to do this is because this dude has been so involved with Sonic since literally the days of Sonic art, you know, from the adventure era to today. And I want to just go over some of my favorite pieces, what I love about his Sonic design and just everything about him. First and foremost, again, this dude has been working on designs on the original characters in Sonic X and the games in Sonic are like legitimately this dude has been here since for like since forever and you know what's crazy is i didn't even know this until i researched this year is he was literally the artist and character design and art director on the sonic games up until sonic rush adventure which after that he sort of became a supervisor on a lot of projects but yeah and you can tell really from a you know from rush to, to earlier on where a lot of that influences is in there and is how he designs the character this is actually one of his first art pieces of modern Sonic. And I, right away, right, I just adored the way he shapes Sonic. You know, because we have classic 90s Sonic that's, you know, a little more shorter, you know, a little more different looking. Whereas modern Sonic feels like an entirely different character. I don't know what it is about it. Obviously, you know, Sonic's quills were a little shorter but longer and they had like a bigger curve to them. The, the head was a little big. You can tell, honestly, it's not even perfected yet, but there's a clear shape what they want to do. And people always talk about how, you know, the legs here are curvy. He's designed much more cartoony right away with how many curves are going on with all his body parts. It's a much more lengthier character style. This is actually one of the earliest Sonic Adventure character sheets. And it was cool even to see early on how he'd go on about, you know, designing Amy or designing Knuckles and Tails in these modern looks. Because again, they used to look so different. But the way he adapted them into, you know, being older just looked so cool. And also, I never realized and Knuckles is actually taller than Sai, but I guess I, sh I should have thought of that in retrospect. But even then, like, the, the energy in this is just so cool, right? Just from the character pose. You could tell Amy, again, he's not at his best with Amy. It's, we're we're going to see it through as we keep going along. Of course, one of the most iconic earliest works he worked on was uh, the pose for the Sonic Adventure box art, which ended up being, but God, man, this pose, right? Like, original sketch stuff. First of all, insane that this is just drawn. Second of all, just this to me, it was like the face of Sonic back in the day in terms of how he would look and feel. I mean, you've got a great lanky energy over here. You've got a, a smirky smile, which is sort of the Nike smile, which people like to dub it. The eyes with the with the eyebrows sort of going over the head. Like, it's it's a very exaggerated eyebrow into the really long quills. I mean, I'm talking about a really long the quills are over here, but the hand posing, everything. And you know, it's crazy how this fits all in a circle. It's just, it's such a, a beautiful piece. This is a cool one. This is what he did for the uh, Sonic 10th anniversary back in the day and just sort of seeing like is it a little animation transition I just, again like just he did such a good job of this cocky smirky energy Sonic's got over here this is cool this is also one of his really early pieces from Sonic Advance actually um, which is the sprite of Amy and Sonic together I never knew he drew this and this is so cute I mean you can see here Amy is much more better drawn you can see actually the shoes are no longer sort of lanky they've, they've gotten bad to you know there's more round Ownership, which he goes into the advanced series and just I love just the the energy right you get just the Sonic's tired Amy going with the big smile with the little hearts out it's it's so cute just in general when you go into this earlier work of his the way he made Sonic was just so cool I love again this this road over here with you know the the blue and I guess they confirmed it that Monza has like just the blue when he winks to into the energy here oh dude this again just that early 2000s air Sonic so fucking cool man I just I I cannot believe just how much energy he was able to exude. You know what's crazy is you can tell this doesn't make sense. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that is like, look how like his head is here and how downwards the quill goes and his body is like over his head. The, the body is like over the head and I feel like that's just an artistic style that just ages so well. Like he just looks 
cool like this. There were times though, I'm looking back where like th this is still one of the funniest art pieces to this day, right? Where his clothes are just downwards and uh, he's, doing, he's doing that little, oh, pose is funny as shit. Also, after you subscribe, make sure you let me know what is your favorite art piece by Yuji. You'll notice the common thing in the early 2000s is just how expressively long Sonic is. Like his legs are long, the quills are long, you know, everything about it is just a long way. I didn't even know that he'd use the adventure post for a Christmas art piece here. And what was cool is you could even see how his design was influencing like the 3D renders. Like to me, this is fucking awesome. And it's still a perfect template with how I would love Sonic to even look today. You've got, of course, the pose from the Sonic Adventure 2 box, which always looked kind of funny to me. Like I don't understand what position Sonic is in, but the way, you know, he made the soap shoes over here, you know, with the, with the arm in the back and the uh, hand defenses, he looks, he, this is so cool. Even here, right, like perfect skater boy energy for Sonic. And just, I feel like that was Yukawa's goal, right? It's always like, hey, how about we just make Sonic always feel and look cool in any pose? It's all, it's always so cool. Like even when you look at how, you know, how he drew the other characters, right? With so much like spark energy. This one with Amy and her drink over here is always like one of my favorites. It looks so good. Even the way he designed the chow, just, you can always tell he is the one who draws some of these pieces. And of course, the group one over here. Like, dude, this piece is always at such raw energy. I mean, I've, I always felt like this was the comfort piece. I know that Blaze is sort of added on to this later, you know, but I just, I love how good this piece is, man. And something a lot of people tried to point out is that later down the line, uh, how he sort of modernizes Sonic a bit. You know, you can see over here, older school, the quills are a little longer and over the top, whereas when you go into the modern ones, right, the quills are a little shorter. Now, I know some people have a criticism of this, but I think this is still him evolving his art style. I mean, even he, right, the way Sonic's got shorter clothes, but they're still like angled is really good. And I love his shading style, like very exaggerated shading uh, in a lot of these. And I still love how he does this. I think to me, though, this is the perfect middle ground. Like something like this, where like the clothes are still pretty long, but they're not too over the top and cartoony. And it still re 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 leaves room for him to be expressive. I will say that the place to get some of Yuji Yukawa's best art is the Sonic channel. If you're a Sonic, fan you've known over the years that he has handled the sonic channel art and almost every year he is providing some of the best character art uh that he's ever done you know for all of the characters crazy expressive poses i love even the themes he goes with right like from 2008 to 2010 he sort of did the sketch style for all the characters looks which looks so fucking cool look at silver man silver looks so raw here it's it's the energy man that each of these have. even like marine the raccoon almost has like no artwork but this piece of her is just so well done and even the way he makes vector looks so expressive here. like he's just so talented at and understands how these characters should be drawn. You know, he knows that they exude their energy. Hello, I didn't even know that he drew Chip in his art style. That's fucking awesome to see it. This one, oh my God, this one is such a fucking dope, but I love, 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 love how this one looks, man. And dude, these ones from 2011 to 2022, again, they're just so well done. Like, they're so angular, right? He, can, he It's cool that you could sort of see him expressing and, and trying different styles, right? Like, whereas he used to be a bit more lankier, now he's a bit more angular with the pieces. God, even the way he draws Blaze, like, so simply, just, it, looking at it just makes me happy, bro. He just fucking gets it, you know? And this, obviously, is an old piece that people really love. I also love how the way he draws classic Sonic, but you can tell he's most at home drawing modern Sonic. And it's also very rare that he draws Super Sonic, but when he does, it's so fucking cool. So 2013, I'm looking at this, I feel like is when he's going crazy with the poses, right? You're getting Amy with some food hammers, you're getting them chilling together, cream and cheese, you're getting Tails gardening. I, I like the little scenarios that he's putting the characters in here. Just so, so well done. Oh my God, Jet the Hawk, relax on the beat. Thank you say less bro one thing i adore too about these pieces is look you can see like the reference sketching in the back which is like such a small thing that even i like doing when i just leaving a bit of those traces of like hey like where you were trying to angulate the character and everything oh my god even i'm discovering new pieces what is that i never even seen this of blaze oh this is so fucking awesome and this is so relaxing you know i mean this is just seeing shadow just chilling with his dark little little child is fucking so cool 
They're so cute, bro. They're so... I can't, I can't take this. Dude, even giving Sticks some love from the Boom series and how he designed their injuries is awesome. This one is one of my favorite pieces of all time, but there's no reason for this to exist other than it's fucking raw. Dude, and even like when he puts Sonic Skulls upwards, I love him giving him the little life jacket, talking to him. It's just, there's, it's, ah, uh, I feel the love. I feel the love. And I think that's what makes me the most happy is when I see his art, it just reminds me why I love these kids. I think you guys can agree. I mean, I'm sure you guys are seeing this for the first time. This is fucking awesome. Even like seeing Boom Sonic running with Modern Class, like all together he does, does such a good job. And in 2018 for Sonic Channel, he dropped what I think are some of his best art pieces ever, right? He sort of drew these angular styles of the characters that just look so fucking good. Are the poses crazy? No, right? But it's the way it's got this gradient over it. It's the posing. Sonic shading here is like my perfect inspiration. I adore Sonic shading over you. Even the way Blaze look. No, oh, Knuckles, man. Look at my boy with the smile. Ah, he looks so cool like this. Even, even the way he draws Eggman, like, he gets it. Now, I know a big one people are fond of in 2019 is this one, right? Where he sort of just gave every character, like, the gradient color. And they just have some of the most raw fucking energy you'll see for their pieces. You know what I mean? Just the way they look. God damn! It's insane. And it just, it looks so good. Look at Shadow, man. Look at, bro. Shadow has never looked cooler than in this pose. Like, even Big the Cat's got his edgy blaze feeling awesome. Dan, I wish these characters characters all had a billion hours of screen time and I, one day one day we'll get there but i just i love it you can see even more colors popping in through these oh dude it's it's so good, man. And in the 2020s, he was doing these ones, which a lot of fans were excited for, where he'd do this monthly piece of two characters together. And you just got some really sick artwork of them together. You know what I mean? I loved seeing this one, which is like a recreation of one of the older ones he's done. I love seeing Sonic just hanging out with different characters, right? Him hanging out with Cream or him running it with, with Metal Sonic and hanging out with Shadow or his relationship, like admitting the relationship he's got with Rouge, which is kind of, they, they've always just been snarky together. And that's is the Sonic Channel art stuff. I mean, this isn't counting all the promo material he does, like Sonic with the guitar, running around with different poses. And I know a lot of people often do this, right? Where they like to grab this specific image of Sonic and be like, damn, what happened? But I, I just think this is a product of, you know, what Sega puts him on. Because I think when Sega tells him to make a banger piece, he makes a banger piece. I mean, the ones I was showing you were like very recent posts. But yeah, there are some times where Sonic is a little saucy but I don't fully blame him. I don't think that's a piece of talent issue. Like, he's done something like this recently, which, again, like, this just has sauce to me. You know, is Sonic a little more, less less lanky, right, and more straightforward and everything? Yeah, but it's, it's he has still that special energy. I think it's him evolving, right? I mean, as an artist, over time, you not only are growing up with whatever company you are, you know, but you're also growing as an artist and wanting to just try new things. You don't always want to draw the same type of character piece you want to try different things and if anything what i would love more than anything would be if he were to return as you know an art director for the games you know i feel like a future sonic game just having the art direction of the characters the way he portrays them i think a lot of fans would be happy because i feel like you could tell when he was doing rush adventure to earlier how the characters were more expressive and over the top felt it it felt like his influence was then so to remove him from that role i don't know if that was a decision on his own. I'm sure he still has in some involvement, but I really would like them to do more with him. But yeah, sorry if this was just me gushing about Yuji Yukawa's art for 20 minutes. I just, you know, I, I wanted to get it out of my mind. I was really excited about it, but let me know what is your favorite piece from him. What, what else would you like to see him try to tackle within Sonic Team and all that. So guys, I love you. Thank you all for watching. You're the best. Peace out.